Hello everyone! This video demonstrates how to use CLAMP to build a role-based system to extract smoking status from clinical text. The input is a set of sentences containing patient smoking information and the output are labels of three different types of smoking categories, current, past, and non-smoker. As you may know, by simply running a general NLP system, you will not get this detailed information about it. In this video, we will show you how to use CLAMP to build a customized system that enables you to easily detect smoking status. Here, you can see the main interface of the CLAMP software. As you can see, the CLAMP components, such as the tokenizer and the chunker, are listed on the top left panel, which is called the resource panel. Corpus panel is the second panel on the left. Here you can load a collection of text to do the annotation and train the model. Third panel is called the pipeline panel. Here you can drag and drop all the different components from the resource panel to the pipeline panel to form a pipeline for your specific project. Now let's create and run a pipeline. There are several steps involved in creating a pipeline. First, you need to create a project. To create a project, click on the plus sign at the top of the screen. This will now open up a new window. Enter a name for your project. Here, we will enter smoking status. From the Choose NLP task panel, select NLP pipeline and click on the finish button. The created project is displayed on the pipeline panel. Click on the arrow next to the project name to expand it. From the components folder, double click on the smoking status pipeline to open it. As you can see, this pipeline does not contain any components yet. To add components to this window, you can directly drag and drop the components from the resource panel to this window. Here, we want to add the DF dictionary lookup component as the rule-based dictionary lookup system to the pipeline window. So we can simply drop it to the pipeline window from the resource panel. After dropping this component to the pipeline window, you will notice that an error message is displayed on the window. This error message indicates that you cannot add this component unless you have already added some other components. To fix this problem, you can just click on the Auto Fix button. This will automatically add the required components to the pipeline. In our case, we also want to add another rule engine called Ruta Rule Engine. Again, upon dropping this to the pipeline, you will notice that it also requires other components. So again, click on the Auto Fix button to add the necessary components. Now, Move this rule engine to the end by clicking on the Move Down button. Now, we can also add a negation component to the pipeline. As you can see, so far we have sentence boundary detection, tokenizer, post tagger, dictionary lookup, negation component, and the rule engine. Let's not do much customization on the sentence detector and tokenizer, but for demonstration purposes, we can customize the dictionary lookup. Double click on the dictionary lookup component to open it. Click on the default dictionary text file to open it. Clamp comes with a built-in dictionary component, but we are not going to use it here. So we select its con content and press the delete button. We then can select and copy its contents and paste it into default dictionary text file and then save the file. Now we have the pipeline loaded with some of the customized smoking related lexicon. We have three different types of smokers labeled here. For example, the non-smoker is labeled non-smoker or X smoker is labeled past smoker. Now we can run the pipeline. Before running the pipeline, we need to load some data here. We have already prepared some sentences which contain smoking status. Click on import from the displaying menu. 
then select an import source. Here we select file system. Click on the next button and browse for the di directory of your choice. Then select your desired file. Click the finish button. Once you have the input data ready, you can run the pipeline by clicking on the green button at the top of the page. Since it is a dictionary lookup program, it recognizes all smoking terms in the dictionary. However, as you can see in the first line, CLAMP has missed detecting smoking term. The reason for this is that we did not include the stemming form of smoke in the dictionary. So all we need to do is to tell the system to include the stemming form. To do that, we need to get back to the configuration file and click on the checkbox to turn on the stemming option, and save the file by clicking on the Save button. Then run the pipeline. Here, the smoking term is now detected. So now CLAMP can detect smoking terms, maybe not 100%, but most of it. If you carefully look at the output file, you will notice more errors. For example, the first line talks about the history of smoking. Therefore, it should be marked as past smoker. The second line denies any tobacco use, so it should be marked as a non-smoker. How do we deal with these situations? We have already added the negation component. If you put your mouse over tobacco use, as you can see on this window, the value of assertion is set to absent. So it recognizes the term as a negated smoking term. So what we really need is to add a rule to combine the negation information with smoking terms to be able to relabel that instance as a non-smoker. So first, let's open up the rule engine file, default RUDA. As you can see, it does not have any rules, but we have already created some rules. Let's browse the file that contains these rules. Then we copy and paste the first rule to the default RUDA file and save this file. What this rule says is quite straightforward. For each sentence, if you see a somatic tag smoker and its features are assertion and absent, then relabel this tag as non-smoker. If you read the text of the input file, you will notice that there is a bunch of keywords in this file such as history and quit, which are indications of past smoking. Now let's see if we can label use of tobacco in the third line with past smoker. Because of the presence of history in the sentence, one thing that we need to do is to go to the dictionary and add these terms. So what we do here is to add a few more terms to the lexicon, default dictionary text, from the files we have already prepared and label them as a new type called history. The new terms are related to past smoker, such as history, quit, and former history. Then we save the file and click the run button again. Now, as you expect in the output file, we can recognize all the history terms in the output file. Let's see how we can combine this history information with smoking information to specify past smoker. So what we are actually doing here is trying to see how we can add new rules to combine the information to detect past smoker. We have the pre-written rules here. It is very simple and very readable. The first rule says, if you see a history modifier followed by smoker semantic tag, then you will say this smoker is a past smoker. In the second rule, the order of smoker and history has changed. Here, 
it says if the semantic tag smoker is followed by the semantic tag history, it should be labeled as past smoker. And this is one says if history and smoker terms are within window size of five, then we recognize the smoker as the past smoker. So we copy all these rules, paste them into the default RUTA file, and save the file. Next, we run the pipeline again. Now, you can see on the output file that the smoker tags have been relabeled to non-smoker tags. We can change the color of past smoker to a different color. The right panel and clicking the arrow to expand entity, select past smoker and double click the color box. Select the color of your choice. We treated history as intermediate information and now we do not want to display them. So we go to the default RUTA file and activate the code that removes all the history terms. Next, let's save the file and run the pipeline one more time. As you can see, all the history labels are gone. The output data is very clear. Now you only have past smoker, non-smoker, and current smoker tags in the document. With this simple dictionary and rules, you can reach up to a performance between 80% and 90% for the smoking status.